Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now uh, uh, we shed light on uh, the African-Egyptian relations. Uh, so we have the pleasure to have this uh, phone uh, with Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador Bayoumi. Good morning to you. How are you? How are you, sir? Well, uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, Your Excellency, to what extent does uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, uh, is uh, uh, keen to communicate uh, uh, on uh, basis with the leaders of the African countries? Uh, and uh, how, uh, um, uh, in what way is uh, this uh, uh, communication or coordination is reflected? As you will know, we have very intensive and good relations with all the African countries, and we are presented by embassies everywhere. Yes. Um, we, we are almost the, the, the largest diplomatic representation in Africa. But, we, of course, we have uh, uh, to deal with this file. To use our weapons, diplomatic weapons, ambassadors, then higher level come to the ministerial level. And for 20 years before the revolution of 2011, we were lacking the most important weapon of our diplomacy, which is the presidential uh, level. Uh, we, 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 we never uh, invited any president of, of Africa or our president did not visit Africa du during those 20 years. Now, with President Abdel uh, he visited almost every important country of, of the continent. Uh, he was uh, chosen to, to chair the uh, African Union in 2019. Egypt was representing Africa in the United Nations Security Council for two years. Then the Sharm el Sheikh conference was a, a, a cornerstone for our relations, economic relations with Africa. We were a member of one subcontinent group, which was the commercial, the common market of East and South Africa. Uh, since the meeting in Sharm el Sheikh, Africa decided, according to Egyptian uh, initiative, to have one big free trade area of the more than 50 uh, countries of the continent. This means uh, more than uh, 1,200 million inhabitants. This is in numbers the largest free trade, trade area of the world. And th th that's why really uh, we, we feel immediately that Africa is becoming uh, at the first class rank in our foreign relations. Africa is supporting us in any voting question uh, in the United Nations or anywhere. And, uh, of course, we are hosting thousands of African students. We have thousands of our experts uh, helping Africa uh, through the Egyptian Fund for yes. Development in, in, in Africa and partnership. The, the story is a, a very important story for our future relations with the continent. And really, we, I am optimistic that it's going now with uh, full speed and uh, uh, good relations in every uh, sector we need to have good relations with the continent. Yes, uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, um, uh, how does the receiving uh, African officials uh, here in Egypt uh, and also signing uh, uh, bilateral uh, agreements uh, 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 and uh, cooperation, a memorandum of understandings uh, with African countries um, uh, are considered uh, a main pillar in supporting economic integration with the African continent? It is one more effort in order to strengthen uh, our relations. The, the, the uh, continent is one of very important files in our foreign relations. And now, every now and then, we visit this file. We see where are the challenges and where are the opportunities. And wherever we find opportunity to strengthen the relations with Africa, we come and visit, we sign agreements, and the most important is that we follow up those agreements in order to implement it in the best way. Yes, uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, um, um, 
Egypt is uh, about to host uh, the COP27 uh, that is going to take place in November in Sharm el Sheikh. Uh, so, uh, what are the most important recommendations uh, that we are expecting from this uh, summit to, to decrease climate uh, change uh, efforts uh, on uh, uh, effects on the African continent? This is another uh, important file Egypt is carrying out with Africa also because we are suffering from the uh, heat of, of, of uh, the earth that threaten our coast with more water. Our coast are diminishing because of the heat. The heat is making the water come up and uh, our uh, coast is threatened. Also, our environment is, is not good as we should uh, hope for. That's why we are asking the industrialized countries to behave in order to make our life much better. And Africa is suffering from this. We, we are not uh, adding to the suffering of the world, but on the, on the contrary, we are suffering from the behavior of the entire industrialized countries. Yes. Yes. So, uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, in uh, the year uh, to, uh, 2019, President Sisi participated in the German-African summit in Berlin, which uh, uh, aims to strengthen economic cooperation between Africa and the G20 countries uh, through giant projects con uh, to uh, contribute to accelerating the pace of growth uh, in the brown continent. How do you see uh, the importance of this and the outcome of this? Hello, Ambassador Bayoumi. Somebody is interfering our call. I don't hear you. Uh, would you like that I, I uh, repeat the question? Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me now? No, because the, the studio is with us and they are interrupting your uh, speech. Hello? No. Yes. So, so you can hear me? Yes, but very bad uh, quality of voice. Yes. Uh, can I ask you uh, one more question? Please. Yes, uh, I was uh, uh, asking you, Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, concerning the efforts exerted by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, as, uh, for example, he participated in the year 2019 uh, in the German-African summit in Berlin, uh, which aims to strengthen economic cooperation between Africa and the G20. How do you see the importance of this? This is another dimension of the African relations, and really, Egypt made a sort of success when we convinced most of our partners in Europe, in China, Japan, all of them agreed to uh, uh, join Egypt in its efforts in order to more and more investment and more and more development in Africa with the Egyptian experience and with the developed countries' finance. This is another uh, uh, file we, uh, which is very important to our relation with Africa. And we are doing our best. I think this is also a story of success, which we hope it will bring more and more uh, relation, uh, good relation with the African uh, countries and with the European countries at the same time. Yes, uh, Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, uh, well, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi also uh, visited uh, a number of African uh, countries, including uh, a historic uh, visit uh, to uh, Jenny in uh, 2019 as the first uh, visit by an Egyptian president since the year 1965, as well as uh, the president's uh, visit to Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, also signing uh, a number of agreements and discussing the Egyptian vision regarding the work system of the African Union. The the president also visited Niger to attend the extraordinary uh, summit uh, of the African Union in uh, nine, uh, 2019. How do you see the importance of this also? I want to add to this that our president visited a country. I was non-resident ambassador to it, which is Equatorial Guinea. I yes. was ambassador in Cameroon and non-resident ambassador 
in Equatorial Guinea because in my time it was impossible to find a place to live there. Our president went there with the uh, Arab constructors and he built an embassy and now we have a very eminent uh, embassy in Equatorial Guinea and Equatorial Guinea became uh, uh, more and more uh, dear partner to us and really I am glad uh, on my personal level also that our president yes. uh, take the liberty to uh, see every country even as a very small country which was uh, in need of our uh, presence and our help. Yes, yes uh, we are following the visits of our president and I hope it will continue that we expand because this means more and more tight relations with Africa. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your uh, uh, time and also uh, thank you for your uh, valuable information, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Well, with this, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, uh, The Breakfast Show. My name is Amal Mukhtar, and I was accompanied today with my colleague, Shireen Adel. Thank you very much for watching.